Hey guys, my name is Derek, and I'm just going to do a quick run through video here, talk about what's included in the Ultimate Developer Startle Bundle. The team and I, we've created the Startle Bundle because of popular requests from students and also our free learners within our Discord community. And let's talk a little bit about what's inside the bundle. So we start off with a tech job guide to help you understand the intricacies of the tech industry on a high level and understanding how tech works and helping you deconstruct the different jargons and scary words that often scare beginners away, right? Having a career in tech is a very attractive thing to have. But one thing that scares people away all the time is how difficult or how scary it gets. So the guide over here is just a high level overview to help you understand the different intricacies of the industry. And once you understood that, we're going to move on to different tools, templates, resources, and the bundle bonus that we have included in the Ultimate Developer Starter Bundle. Just a quick one. The main part of the bundle that we're really happy about is going to be called the Personalized Tech Roadmap. We created this because we understand that a lot of people feel scared about going to tech and they feel like everything's really messy and unstructured. And this is a feedback that we've gotten from our students when we surveyed and asked them, why did they join a coding bootcamp, right? And this is to help show you how you can do it yourself by self-learning without going to a bootcamp or without going to universities. So looking at this, the way to use this is by first going into the form over here to put in your different times that because everyone has a different commitment and we don't expect everyone to be committing full time to a program. A bootcamp is often full time. There are pros and cons of going to a bootcamp, but this is a unique calendar we've developed for you to plan out a unique schedule and a flexible calendar for yourself. Because I'm sure some of you here can only spend one or two hours a day to code. So use this calendar, put in your time slots for your availability. So for example, if Wednesday you have, let's say two hours available, right? Just click on generate calendar. So we have a script on the back end that's running that will help you calculate and plan out your timelines for you to go from complete beginner into a job ready entry level software developer. And I think this is really game changing because this helps you really visualize in front of you how and when will you be able to close that job. So this calculator will just be working with your variables, with your unique use cases to build up that curriculum for you. So while it's running, you can take a look that everything on this page is going to be linked to a resource in our resource list over here that we have customized and everything over here are either open source or made free by us, right? So some of it will be linking external contents like free code camp. Some of it will be our internal learning platform and some of it will be our internal slides that we use for students, right? And using this, you will be able to generate a very comprehensive learning path for yourself to kickstart your journey in tech and give you a very reasonable and logical estimate of how long it's going to take. So moving on, we have a CRM and it depends on your goals. Some of you are here for jobs, some of you are here for projects and depending on whether you're here for jobs or projects, you will be seeing different CRM and a CRM is basically a customer relationship management tool. And for jobs, it's just a table that allows us to help you track your job applications, whether it's with the CEO of the company, the details of the individual that you're in contact with, the contact typed through LinkedIn, WhatsApp, email, word of mouth, connections for your friends. It helps you record because applying for jobs is often not very fun because it can get really draining. It's very helpful to have something like this to help you track everything. So you're able to visualize and attend and follow up to different applications that you have. And in terms of projects, we are very aware that this is something that you cannot replicate and use the same CRM that you use for jobs, for projects as well. So this is something that we created and it's something that we personally use in-house as well when it comes to closing projects ourselves. It helps us categorize and see clearly in a Kanban board manner, what are the different projects that we're trying to close? What's the status? Have we contacted them? Are we in conversations with them? Are we waiting for a decision maker to reply? Or did they not reply us? Did they reject us? So everything's over here and you can also sort it according to different industries like F&B, enterprise, accounting, startups, because when it comes to closing software projects and especially for the freelancers, you will very quickly come to realize that according to your needs and your strengths, you will most likely and to customers within a certain segment. So this will help you compartmentalize the leads and help you really focus on following up and creating unique pitches to people in different verticals. Moving on, 
we have a checklist and this checklist is fairly similar to what we have in the personalized calendar in the previous page. However, this is really helpful because like I mentioned, a big part of why people fail or why people give up going to tech is because they think it's scary. They don't know what are the exact steps to achieve it. There's always a new technology. There's always something new, something scary, something cool. And you just keep going in rounds and in loops of learning things again and again and being stuck in this thing called the tutorial hell. And for us, we've created this checklist to say that, okay, as long as you're able to run through this list, put a check on everything that you've completed and that you've understood, you will to a certain level of confidence, be able to close a job with or without a university degree, with or without a bootcamp. Because today, employers hire based on your skills. And if you can showcase the skills over here and forget the fancy text, forget you know, buying 10 tutorial courses, just being able to do this and committing yourself to this will help you to a certain level of confidence, be able to land jobs. And this is certainly vetted by me and my team when it comes to what we look for when hiring for people. And in fact, sometimes because of how scarce talents are, most of the times we and most companies out there, in fact, also hire people who have lesser than this. So if you can put a checklist on everything over here, honestly, an entry level job is not a problem. So let's move on to that. We also have prepared amazing templates because look at our keyword over here. Recruiters don't like ugly portfolios, right? A big part of how we work is we work with recruitment companies and also hiring partners and recruiters to be able to help match talents to companies. And a big part to why a lot of people can't even get their first step into the industry. A lot of people can't even get that first interview is because they get stuck. They don't have an impressive portfolio that stands out and gets the attention of the recruiters. The last thing that you want to do is spend a lot of time on your portfolio. You should be spending time on building that impressive project. You should be spending time on making your algorithm skills better. You should be spending time on improving your computer science fundamentals, understanding what tech really is, right? And honestly, if you're really good with tech, a decent looking and a nice whole personal portfolio website like this, like the no code ones that we use, it's literally templates that you can plug and play. It's built with Notion. And for me, myself, I've been closing six to seven figure projects with just a Notion personal website. So I think the platform on which you create your website doesn't matter that much, but rather spend the time working on what you can put into the portfolio website. And just to quickly showcase a few examples we have over here. These are just some great examples that you can just use yourself. We have two versions and yeah, it should be good enough. All right. And we also have a combination with the super. So you combine super with Notion to create even more powerful portfolios, even nicer than the ones that's available in Notion. Okay, moving on, we have resume and CV templates where we show you a step-by-step -step process guide that helps you work on improving your job application processes and helping you improve your personal branding to help you stand out in the sea of applicants out there today. So step one, this is just a bunch of really great write-ups to help you understand why we do things the way we do it and why you can benefit from this as well, right? And a big part of using our tools is understanding what went into the thought process of us creating these tools for you. And this is just helping you understand where we come from. And moving on, once this is done, then move on to understanding the guidelines of writing a great CV. Have a good read on the content over here and move on to the templates that we have over here. So this is a really good template that we have that we believe really stands out, right? Forget the fancy stuff. This is what employers want to see. And most of the time, employers run through, put your CV into a platform that's run by AI or by software to really sift out keywords rather than looking for fancy design. So you really want to be able to put in keywords and um, highlight your value add to your previous experiences to showcase who you are and what you can do to your companies in the shortest amount of time. This is a quick resume in terms of every input over here, but to ease your understanding of it, we have also included some examples of students that have used this CV template and you can just follow, follow through right over here. And this is really specific and you definitely can benefit from this to understand how to write a good CV, a standout CV. Right, moving on. We will also have different portfolio websites that you can use. This is very similar to the page that we have showcased just now. And finally, the job listing, which is the CRM template that I've showcased just now. It's very similar. 
And yep, we also have a super prompt list that is still in development, but you can enjoy it very soon by utilizing the power of AI, right? Oftentimes people complain to us and saying that ChatGPT isn't good enough, but it's really understanding the prompts and understanding how do you communicate with AI to help it help you. And yeah, this is just a quick prompt list that we can use to help you skyrocket your communication with ChatGPT. So it's coming soon, it's still in development. And by the time you watch this, probably it will be ready soon. And we have our resource list where we include a lot of free or very cheap materials that you can use to self-learn coding. Moving on, we also have an FAQ list where we understand that most of the time when you're trying to close projects or you're trying to close a job, you get asked very similar questions by employers or project owners. And one thing that you want to do is quickly document different questions that are challenging or document different questions that has been asked because job application is a very tiring process. And oftentimes you get asked difficult questions that get you stunned, we mean, meaning you can't answer them on the spot, right? And it's not very nice when it comes to that. So you always want to have a very handy handbook in your pocket to help you rehearse and prepare for interviews by just recording and documenting the different questions we have and how can you do it better next time. Okay, so that's all for the developer side of things. And I think a very common need that we see within our community is a lot of people actually request for entrepreneur focused materials because a lot of people they worry about what can they do to put food on the table and the most easy way to put food on the table is just to get a job right and the thing about getting a job is as a developer you start getting the skills to build anything you can literally right to build anything you want with just your own two hands and a laptop so being a developer is really attractive and once you have the skills to build anything you want, oftentimes people think of building their own products and launching their own products, their own software products, right? Building your own Spotify. In fact, Facebook started from a guy just in his bedroom, right? So a lot of people want to go into the entrepreneurship path. And one thing that I can tell you now, based on my experiences, it's not going to be easy doing everything yourself. You're going to need more people, more funding, more marketeers, more branding, more commercialization efforts. You have, there's so many things to be done. And Fundraising is one big part to it. So we've prepared this fundraising guide to help you understand the ecosystem and the landscape of how tech startups and more on the finances side work. It's a big picture, similar to the tech job guide that we've prepared. And then we've also prepared a pitch deck content builder to help you create a really good pitch deck template. It's really just PowerPoint slides, right? That helps you recreate your own version, your own unique version, just drag and drop your own unique version of your own startup pitch deck that you can use to pitch and raise funding, All right? So this is included as well. And moving on, we have an investor update. So for example, after you close an investment, you always want to be updating your investors in terms of your progress of your company, or even while you're still talking to your investors, this is something that you can showcase to them and try and get their interests over time, right? So moving on, we also have an investment memo where today sometimes investors get quite lazy to really take a look at your pitch deck. So this investment memo can be really helpful to showcase what you have, the problem you're solving, the solution that you have, and how big of an opportunity it is in just one page so that your investor don't have to sift through 10, 15 pages of pitch deck and they can just see everything in this, just this one page. And we have included the template of most important things that people want to see or investors want to see when it comes to fundraising. And finally, we also included a CRM, but this time just focus for investors where you can really document your investment process and focus on the different conversations and different relationships we have with different investors, right? So that's all that I have for today. I really hope we're able to add value to you and you are able to make full use of this regardless if you're a freelancer, just a complete beginner going to tech or someone within the tech financing industry. We hope this can help you and look forward to see you very soon.